Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to learn about the main technical standards for common cement, strength. Through the previous study, we have learned that, according to Common Portland Cement, GB 175-2007, common cement has three main technical requirements, chemical index, physical index, and selectivity index. Strength is a significant index. Today, we will learn about cement strength from its meaning, factors affecting it, classification of common cement strength grades, its determination standards, and result evaluation. Let's start with a case study. In January 2019, a collapse accident occurred at the construction site of Qibao Project in Shanghai, resulting in the death of many workers. After investigation, it was caused by unqualified cement strength. Cement with unqualified strength affects the project quality and brings safety hazards to buildings. It may also lead to safety accidents and threaten people's lives. Extremely harmful. Cement strength refers to the 3-day and 28-day flexural and compressive strengths measured by the specified method after the standard specimen is cured to the specified age under standard curing conditions with the standard method. Cement strength is mainly affected by the material composition and strength test process. In terms of material composition, the cement strength is mainly affected by the components and fineness of cement. Many tests show that the main components of cement, that is, tricalcium silicate, dicalcium silicate, tricalcium aluminate, and tetracalcium ferroaluminate, have different effects on strength, as shown in the following figure. For example, if the content of tricalcium silicate is high, the early and late strength of cement will be high. On the other hand, the larger the fineness is, the faster and more sufficient the hydration speed is, and the higher the early strength will be. The cement test conditions and determination methods during the test affect the determination result. For example, when the test temperature of the cement sample is below that specified in the standard, the determination result of cement strength will decrease accordingly and vice versa. The strength of the cement sample decreases significantly after being damp. When the molding water consumption of strength specimens is inaccurate, the strength results will change starkly. The curing temperature and humidity of strength specimens also significantly affect the strength results. There are also other instruments and equipment, operation methods, steps, etc., which will affect the determination results. Therefore, standard methods must be adopted for cement strength determination to obtain accurate results reflecting the actual cement strength and ensure the quality of engineering construction. So, what is the method of cement determination? The standard method for cement determination is the determination of strength of cements, ISO method, GBT. 17671-2011 Material consumption is to cement, is to standard sand, is to water, is 1, is to 3, is to 0 0.5. Molding requirements, temperature, 20 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius, relative humidity greater than 50%. Standard specimen. 40 mm by 40 mm by 160 mm. There are six specimens in two groups, and the same test mold uses different ages. 
According to the Method of Cement Mortar Strength Inspection, ISO Method GBT 17671-2011, the strength calculation results are determined as follows. For the flexural strength of cement, the average value of a group of three prisms shall be taken as the test result. When one of the three strength values exceed plus or minus 10% of the average value, the average value shall be taken as the flexural strength test result after elimination. When two of the three strength values exceed plus or minus 10% of the average value, the remaining one shall be taken as the flexural strength test result. For the compressive strength of cement, Take the average value of six measured values of compressive strength obtained from a group of three prisms as the test result. When one of the six measured values exceed plus or minus 10% of the average value of the six, remove this result and take the average value of the remaining five as the result. When any of the five measured values exceeds plus or minus 10% of their average value, this group of results will be invalid. When two or more of the six measured values exceed plus or minus 10% of the average value at the same time, this group of results is invalid. The single strength result is reported to be accurate to 0.1 megapascals. And the arithmetic mean is also reported to be accurate to 0.1 megapascals. According to Common Portland Cement GB175-2007 and Amendments Number 1, 2, and 3, the strength grades of six types of common cement are divided as shown in the table below. The strength grade with R in the table indicates early strength cement. After learning the relevant knowledge of cement strength, let's review the previous case. Cement strength is so important for ensuring engineering quality. Therefore, we should be rigorous and scientific in our work. Train ourselves according to the craftsmanship spirit, strictly implement the specification, and re-inspect cement before use. Only when the strength meets the design requirements can it be used. Everyone, let's make a summary of what we have learned today. Today, we have learned the meaning of cement strength and analyzed that the main factors affecting it are cement components and fineness. We know the standard method ISO for measuring cement strength, the determination of cement strength results, as well as use the cement strength determination results to classify grades. That's all for this class. Thank you. Thank you.